So George Santos is on Cameo, and I have to admit, this is pure comedic gold. I have watched some of these cameos, and I have laughed until my side hurt. I can't believe that we live in a world where a shamed congressman goes out and gets on Cameo and now says he's making more money doing that than he did as a congressman. In any other time in history, George Santos would have been shamed into oblivion. He would have been shamed completely into hiding. The world would have never heard from him again. I grew up in an era where we shamed Dan Quayle because he couldn't spell potato. It ended his political career. But if Dan Quayle had came along in today's Republican Party and misspelled potato, he could have started cameo and misspelled every word in the dictionary and people would have threw money at him to see him do it. For people that says the economy is in a shitter and they're struggling to get by, they sure can throw their money at George Santos. It's 400 bucks a pop. They sure can throw their money to buy Trump memorabilia and Trump trading cards and Trump hats and Trump flags, but the economy's in a shitter. They can go out and spend two grand on the 4th of July and just blow it up in the air and sit and talk about how the economy's in a shitter. But in any other time in history, that would have been the end of George Santos. We'd have never heard from him again. Howard Dean, remember that guy? He just screamed at one of his own rallies in excitement. We're going to win, yeah! And they said he didn't have the temperament to hold public office. He didn't have the temperament to be president. If Howard Dean came along today, he could go on Cameo and just sit and scream from every angle. Well, Howard Dean couldn't do that because Democrats aren't the kind of people that would buy that shit, but you see what I'm trying to say. It's absolutely crazy. And it's because, again, I know I say this a lot. I know I hit this punchline a whole lot because it's just true. Donald Trump did usher people into the political arena that don't know about politics, so it's just entertainment to them. It's just WWE to them. It's just Jerry Springer. They don't know how government works. They don't know jack shit. They don't know what Santos did wrong. They, they don't know none of that. All they know is, does it entertain me? Does it? Do I get a gut laugh out of this or not? And I'm guilty of watching it and laughing right along with them, but that's what they are. That's what their whole party is. They don't have ideas. They don't have solutions. They don't have, you know, bills that they're going to bring to the table and actually try to help move the needle forward. The only thing they're going to bring to the table is ideas about how to strip away anything a liberal put in place or how to take rights away from people who they disagree with. But all politics is to them now is just theater. That's why George Santos can get away with this and do this. That's why Donald Trump continues to get away with all he does. Because it's theater to them. They don't care that it's not a real fight. It's just it's just like wrestling fans. They don't care. You could set I'm a wrestling fan. I'm not knocking wrestling. When I when I was growing up, my mom used to take me to a grocery store. It was in Middlesbrough, Kentucky. It was called Battles. I don't know if anyone ever remembers that store or remembers where it was at, but if you do, drop your name in the comments. We probably met. <laughs> but anyway, I would go to Battles Grocery Store back when I was a kid, and I would buy wrestling magazines, the old Pro Wrestling Illustrated and shit. I would lay them up on the counter, and every time I laid them up on the counter, the cashier would tell me, you know that's fake, right? And i go, yeah, I know what it is. I just watch it for the entertainment. Then the bag boy would go to put it in the bag, and he'd go, you know it's just fake, right? And I'd go, yeah, man, I know what it is. I just watch it for the entertainment. Now, I guarantee you, if that store was still standing, and if I went through the line today, and I bought a George something to do with George Santos or Donald Trump, they'd go, oh, that's cool, man. Hell yeah. That's awesome. And I guarantee if I said, you do know that's fake, right? You do know they're full of shit, right? Oh, uh, 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 ma'am. Oh, boy. No, no, by God. This is, this is a real deal here. That's how far we've fallen as a race. That's how far humanity has fallen. We used to hold people accountable if they just misspelled potato. Hell, George H.W. Bush just looked at his watch too many times during the debate with Clinton, which I don't blame him. He was getting his ass handed to him. But still... He looked at his watch. Nixon sweated too much against Kennedy and lost the first time. Hell, Nixon could have been on Cameo if he'd have been around today, just sweating and crooking all over himself, and people would have been buying it. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't want to hear the economy is in the shitter coming from people who give George Santos 400 bucks for a Cameo. You know, if, 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 if you're out there really struggling, living hand to mouth, and you want a bitch, I'll listen to you. But if you're buying into that garbage, <laughs> you're buying Trump memorabilia, and you're just blowing your money up in the air and then bitching that the economy is bad, listen, you're just at a WWE event, and nothing you're seeing is actually real, and for whatever reason, I can't convince you otherwise.